morning. First cup of coffee of the morning. Finally, it's about 6.30. I've been up since 3.30 cleaning. I have hug inspection today. They are very picky. It's like their main goal is to find something wrong so they can cut your services so that you can be evicted. That's, that's their goal. So they don't have to help you with rent. So I have promised everybody a walkthrough of my apartment. Now I have clutter. I have crafting. I have stuff. I live in a 24 by 36 apartment. Most of y'all's um, living room and dining room, I can fit my apartment in. So I'm gonna let my really hot coffee cool because I put it in the microwave. Um, because honestly, these coffee pots brew your coffee, but once you add creamer, it's cold. Let's have a little walk through. Okay, I'm opening myself up to a whole world of people that are gonna judge. And if you get nasty, you're blocked and you're deleted. That's all there is to it. When you walk in my door, as you can see, that's my kitchen. This is my living room. This is it. I'm standing in the corner. That's the other corner. This is it. There's my most favorite picture I bought. Um, I have room for a chair, stand. I have a little desk here that I've got, finally got out where I can use it. Um, I have a chair right here in front of the door. I have my coffee table. There's Essie. And I have my TV stand with my dolls. I have a couple paintings I did. There's that painting that I did. I literally can stand in one area of my apartment and see my entire apartment. As you can see, there's not much room in my apartment. Okay? So, once you get to this point, which was seven steps. Seven steps from the front door to where my feet are. There's the hallway. There's my closet, my bathroom, my bedroom. There's my kitchen. There's all my craft stuff, guys. My paints are in that drawer. I have craft stuff in there. This is my stand next to my chair that I sit in all the time. Um, this is where all my crafting happens. I love this table and chairs. This is all my paint canvases, all my crafting. My sewing machine is there. I have all my crafting situated. And I'm standing at my table. That is the other end of my kitchen. I still have to clean off my counter, so I have my 409, but I did not need that. Um, what little bit I had in my other can that I found was enough to do my spot on my carpet. So I'm going to take that back. Um, see my floors? I have to take care of my broom and stuff like that. Put that away. This is, this is it. This is my kitchen counter. This is my counter space. When you see cooking videos, this is it, guys. That's all I have to work with. So, I did get my hood cleaned. <laughs> And this is the baker's rack that I turned into a coffee bar. I have my coffee maker, my um, sugar salt. Um, how many people grew up with a moo cow creamer at their house? I was using it and I realized I actually waste more creamer. He needs to be washed off because the coffee drips on him. My water, my coffee, napkins, my cups. That's a little hodgepodge mess. Um, all my oranges, apples, potatoes, onions, garlic is in there, and it keeps very well down there close to the floor. And I have my little mini crock pot thing there. 
my oils and herbs and that kind of thing is in that box where they can be kind of protected from the light. And then I have my snacks, my ice cream milkshake maker, um, a microwave, toaster, and that is over here. This is it, guys. This is it. I don't even really put my my squirrels out because I don't have room. And all that coffee up there is decaf. So. And then I have my bathroom. I don't think I put my bathroom makeover video on this channel. Um, this is it. This is it. I'm standing. This is my bathroom doorway. This is it. My bathroom is not very big. I built this shelf. And then I come in here one day and it is, um, I don't know what happened. I think the bug guy was here and he moved the shelf or somebody was in here and moved the shelf and they broke it. So I need to make some new supports, add some supports because that sucker is not going to stay. It's going to fall. I'm not happy. I don't know who did it. I did not have the trail cam on. So I don't know who is in here. But yeah, you can see. And none of that stuff is heavy, guys. None of it. That's just toilet paper. That's just uh, three towels, a few washcloths and little towels. None of that is heavy. The only one that's got anything heavy is that stuff there. And even that's not heavy. And that's got extra supports on it. That's why that stuff's on that shelf. All these shelves have supports under them. So I don't know who was in here. I should have known better. Um... This is all that in my carpet. Um, I love that carpet. It was on clearance. Now I can't find another one. That's my bathroom. And this is where I keep all my drinks and stuff. Because with my brain, if I don't see it, it doesn't exist. It's very difficult for me to remember. I need to remember to drink five things a day. It's hard. I can't explain it to people. I moved this off my bathroom door, put it here. I'm probably going to get yelled at for it. We'll find out. We'll find out. And then I have all of this. I still probably need to move that. But, you know, movies, a few crafting things, um, just stuff in here. Don't judge my bedroom. Um, it is what it is. I brought this out of my living room. Funny thing about that shelf, it's a wonder it's still standing. I had to have somebody come down and rebuild it because when Mediacom was here putting in new wires, they did not wait for me to take the books and things and movies and stuff off from it. They shoved it across the carpet and broke it and didn't give a crap. No kidding. Um, everything went flying. And they didn't care. So it got put back together. And um, it's in here. It's screwed together in new brackets and and all that. So it's holding up. Um, I do have some things I probably need to take out. But you know what? That's not what she's here to check. She's supposed to be here to check the apartment for electrical and that kind of thing and make sure the doors slide and shut and make sure those are working lights all the light bulbs have to be working believe it or not if there's a light bulb out i get dinged for it even though i'm not supposed to be changing them and then of course i have my meds and things my crystals my stones my jewelry i don't have much you know um, anyways, and there's my Elvis singing pink unicorn. So, and then I have my laundry because I haven't done my laundry yet. But I didn't want to make a bigger mess by doing my laundry. It can stay like it is. And then I have all my baby dolls. I have Rose and Xavier and Ruth, Emily. And Annabelle and underneath we have all these dolls I'm not gonna go through the names of everybody 
but um, even my new baby dolls are under there. And we have Mary Jane and um, all those dolls. And we have these dolls over here. And of course we have Essie. This I'm going to probably have this all lit up today. I got to get a clip and hang this back up. I had it set in. This came from Karen. And I had it just kind of set in the branches and it fell off. So I'm going to get a clip today. Actually, I have a clip. Oh, no, I don't. I put it in a drawer. I'll get a clip and get it hung back on the tree. But um, I'm going to have my lighthouse going. I haven't lit it up in a couple weeks. I try to keep that going. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, everybody. I have my birdhouse hung up from Karen. Isn't that pretty? Look at how much better it looks in here with just that light going. Just lighten up that tree. I like it. And then I have my lighthouse going. This actually came from all the way up from upstate New York. Let's see. Let me get out of the way so you can see the water trickling through there. That came from my, um, well, my son and daughter-in-law. But anyways... So, okay, guys, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to sit down and have my coffee, and I have a few things to take care of before they come. I will be recording when she gets here because they are rude, nasty, and obnoxious. And I will have my hand, phone in my hand, and I will be recording because I want protection. And they, last year, two years ago, because they didn't come last year, but two years ago, the maintenance man was here and walked through with him because of how they are to the tenants. Um, and, and she was as nice as pie. But the year before, when she left, I was crying because of how mean they are to people. So today, I will be recording. The phone will be in my hand and it will be on. Love y'all. Wish me luck. I will also include that clip here and let you guys know how I went. Talk to you in a little bit. They are really stiff. I know the maintenance man that came over yesterday, um, because I needed one of them little screwy things to go on the end of the lights. Um, that what? He, the screwy things go on the end of the lights. He said that he's got some stuff he can put in there to make them go up and down easier for me, so. Okay. I'm in no big hurry, because I don't usually open them. You know what? And you can unplug anything. Okay. You could have left it unplugged. It's just my coffee pot. <laughs> no, I think I will. Okay. I'll let you put it back in there. Any problems with leaks that you're aware of? No, no. I was just cleaning with the bear a couple of weeks ago and mm -hmm. and the cooks and refrigerators provided? Yeah. I can't find these kind for this old stove. It, 
I think I have one of the oldest stoves they have here, but because it still works, it's still here. Yeah. Which, you know. That's the main thing. Yeah. It's, it's hard to clean these old stoves because it just doesn't want to. Refrigerator kept everything cold and perfectly. Oh yeah, this is a, I think a two year old refrigerator. I can get over to that. Yeah, I will need to see that it opens. I'm going to check your smoke detector. Okay. I think they're like hot wired in, am I right? Hot wired. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> oh, well, this one really. There we go. Okay. He said he was going to come over and treat him. Yeah, he's going to come over and do whatever. And. and I've got all my crafts. Yeah, make stuff. sure that he does your bedroom one. So, yes, I can get one in case there was a fire you need to Yep. Yeah. And this was the only room I had question because I keep. My extra stuff in here, if any of this was in the way of the water here for you. No, it's fine. Okay. Use the pole chain. You went this off there. Yeah, you can turn it off. I, I just had it on. I was going to put my mop bucket back away and I hadn't done it yet. So. And that shower pad comes straight down on you, so. I have my head wet more than once. <laughs> Okay, thank you so, very much. Uh-huh, you're welcome. You have a good day. You too. Yeah, that door sticks it's in the weather. Okay, so as you've seen in the clip, I passed. Um, this lady was not the same lady that's come prior. This is a new lady. And I actually kind of know this lady. Not know, know her, but know 
kind of who she is. I've, I've seen her other places. Um, she's a very kind lady to begin with. So, um, she come in, she was very, very pleasant. Um, she understood about not being able to lift the windows. And she even had a hard time lifting them. And she says, yeah, he needs to come in and do whatever they do to make the windows go up and down easier. Especially in the bedroom because that window hardly ever goes up. And that is supposed to be my fire escape. And I did not know that. But it wasn't a fail because it does go up. It just goes up hard. Um, and so everything worked perfectly. My stove was not an issue because it is so old. She she was surprised it was as clean as it was. And my my um drip pans, I can't replace them and it's hard to find them and the only reason I have new ones on my big burner is because I found them at a yard sale brand new. So that was a plus. I'm always looking at yard sales for drip pans, new drip pans for these old stoves because it's the only way I'm gonna find ones that fit my stove. Um so there it is. I passed. Um, it's been a very hard, tiring last, I think, six days because I've been working and then quit, work, quit, fall asleep, fall asleep. It's, it's been taking a lot out of me um, because a lot of scrubbing, a lot of, and the mental part of it. Um, so... Everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog of um, the tour of my apartment and everything. Um, I didn't have my mop bucket put away yet. I didn't have the window sills clean. But um, she said, don't worry about, you know, I hadn't started actually filming a whole lot um, when she first got here. Um, she had to, had to ask about the you-know-what um, if I'd been exposed. So, um, Anyways, so I'm over that. I'm covered in bruises, and I'm, I'm just totally covered in bruises from head to toe. So I can take a nice, long, deep breath. I'm going to take the next... Probably two, three days off. Um, I do have this video to go up. I have a couple other videos to go up. And I'm going to be taking a couple of days of filming um, and vlogging. Because I'm going to go to Poplar Heights Farm. And I'm going to be going um, panning for gems. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. So have some fun. We're going to see a whole lot of wonderful things. And you're going to see some changes to my DIY channel. It's not staying a DIY channel. I'm just going to turn it into a vlogging channel that will make everything a little bit easier on both of us. So everybody, thank you for coming along with me. Um, she's very nice. It was nice to have somebody that was genuine and um, you know that didn't come in with a growl on her face she I mean you could tell even though she had a mask on that she was had a pleasant demeanor about her face that was awesome I enjoyed that very much so made me feel more comfortable having her in my home so everybody I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Um, I need to give my body time to heal, um, especially my right arm. It's 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 hurting. So, everybody, love y'all. Bye, guys.